guys welcome back to Estella Wilson creations I have a Dollar Tree haul but I wanted to show you these big items they're not as big as last year's um, planters but they're pretty big they're I will say medium size I end up getting six of these because last year I wished I would have got six the last year buckets were bigger and I only got two so this year I went ahead and got three and I'm planning to make some kind of planter that can go outside or in a corner so we will see if i get that done um I, if the buckets come back the planters come back that were there last year i will get a few more of those and then i think i'll be able to use the planters that i have here or maybe i could use that as a top layer haven't really figured that out but anyway these are the new planters that they're out I really like that they're gray and neutral neutral and that's kind of like my house theme um, and so I picked up six of those and most of this is going to be a lot of gaming items and some makeup and just some regular crafty stuff that I needed around the house so if that is something you're interested in keep on watching okay guys we are back you know I think for like your family game room it could get expensive so I love when Dollar Tree puts inexpensive like game room items out so let me show you what I got I found this game this is 36 card it says fish and snap zoo now I don't know what these cards are or how they look so we're just gonna open them together and see um, a lot of times if they have really good images on them I will use these for crafting as well so we're gonna open it up and see what is in here actually so a lot of that picture on the outside let's see the other side yeah, so you can use, it got elephants. This can be like the matching game. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but it definitely could be, you know, you mat, it is the matching game. So you can find crocodile, look at the crocodile. You could use that if you were doing like a Florida thing and you guys went to see um, Gator World. You can use that if you were going to the zoo. A buffalo, look at the lion. What if you were going to see Lion King at Disney? Sharks definitely could represent the ocean. Tigers, kangaroos, giraffes, like all of monkeys. Look at the monkey. Hippo, toucan, the dolphin. My mom loves dolphin. And then the zookeeper. That is cool. Look at that. So I'm not sure. I mean, I guess you could pay. That'd be a good matching game with my nieces and nephews. So I might keep that in the uh, game room area. Let's see if I can put the the box back in. Okay, and then the next one is fish. And let's see how this one looks. I think it has a lot of sea animals. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have, this is uh, fish poison, passion. Poison is on each of them on that side. And we got octopus. Oh, we got four octopuses. We got a dolphin. We got four. So this set, you get four of each. So you got the dolphins in this one. Look at the turtles or the tortu. The turtle, yeah. Oh, it has it in Spanish and I'm guessing English. Is this Spanish? I don't know. So turtle, shark. Starfish, that's cute. The uh, goldfish or the clownfish, the crab, seahorse, manta ray, the uh, stingrays, I guess. So I guess all the animals that live in the sea. So that's okay. Okay, they also had a few other games, and I just want to open them up because I've never seen them, so this will give you an idea of what's in them. So they had these, which is Happy Families and Old Maid. So we're going to open that up. Happy Families, I have no idea about this card game. And we could read the instructions, but is that even important? I don't know. I'm not going to read. I don't know if you guys want me to read instructions here. Let's open the box up okay so they all say ham happy families and they 
do have different languages. I don't know what language that is. Someone can put that in the comments below if they know. But they got Mark and Marie, Mike, Mia, Henry. Henry's a farmer. So if you're doing a, I don't know, a recipe book, these might be cute to add. I'm not sure. These are, they're doctors. So these are all doctors. And then those are farmers, the gadgets. So if you're doing, I don't know, something with smart people, athletes. I like that all the athletes are different. Superheroes, that's cute. Guess, uh, Spider, uh, Superman. Laura, um, the home improvers. She's cute. The Explorer. Um, what else we got? The Chef. So these definitely will work for like recipe books. The Musician. I don't know. Those are kind of cute. Okay, and then the last card game. Let's see this. Try not to break the box. I do that a lot. Like get impatient and break the box. So we got old maid. Okay, and of course, don't get caught holding the old maid. Okay, I haven't played old maid in forever. It does come with instructions in each of the games. The businessman. The farmer. The spaceman. So you definitely can use this like if you're doing a space theme. I think that's so cute. Especially since we just came from Kennedy Space. The knight. The policeman. The scientist. Again, you can do these as like matching. The lumberjack. The fireman. Pirates. We are supposed to be going to a medieval times um, in about two weeks. So I will be filming that for you guys. The cowboy, the cook, the mechanic, the wizard. Look at the wizard. Makes you think of Harry Potter. The princess, the superhero, the clown, the fairy. And the old maid. Oh. Okay, so we have made it. So those are good card games. Um, and I just feel like people are now always on their phone. And it's sometimes good to just do good old family games. So I did get those four. Then the next thing I found that was super like shocking to find were all of these bubble snaps. And if you have like a stress problem... I really think you will like these. So I found several shapes. There was one shape I left behind. It was blue. Don't really know. But these were the larger ones. So I got this pink one and this like octagon um, shape. And then I got the square in the pink. And then I get the mermaid in the green. And then I got the yellow octagon as well. So I picked up four of them. I'm gonna go in my little closet of gifts and usually it goes to my nieces so um i did find these fidget poppers and they only had blue i've seen that they had other ones but um they had this one and i got two in the pink and then one in the yellow pop so, yeah, fidget poppers if you are looking for something for sensory. Okay, I was really shocked to see these games because I thought I had, like, missed out because I had hauled some of them, but they didn't have these. So, I finally found, guess who? And then I found my all-time favorite, Sorry. Love Sorry. Look what I found. I found Candyland. And then I found trouble. 
So I really think I have all of them now, all the ones that were available. So I don't know, I would have to look at the other ones that I hauled before, but these were the ones I thought I was missing. So yeah, these are gonna be great to add to a game room. Okay, the next thing I found was, well, I had to get a restock on some gloves. I put Icy Hot on my back. I have really bad back problems. So this is gonna go um, upstairs where I put my gloves so I can use that there. So I found that, that's just for me. I did get some corrector tape because I've been planning a lot more and I've been finding myself in need of some. So I'm going to try to put it in a place where I don't lose it. That's usually what happens to me. It's like corrector tape, who? And then when I need it, I can't find it. So let's see how they go over here. I'm planning on getting a smaller desk eventually, and I don't know. I have to figure that all out. Okay, the next thing I got was cause oh, I got one more. I actually did get an actual whiteout. And sometimes liquid whiteout don't work the best for me, best for me because I'm impatient and I don't want to wait. Okay, whoa. Okay, let me get the white out. So I did get that too, the liquid. So we'll see. Okay, the next thing I got is cosmetic stuff. I got these makeup sponges, which I got for me. I also got this shimmer powder. I am not good with makeup, but I would like to think I would like to get better. Oh, and this one's cracked. I didn't see that that was cracked there, but it's for me, so it's okay. So I got that one, and then these are for my niece. I got the darker colors. I thought she would like them. All of these are for her. So this is number 58, pink violet, and this is number 60, and it's called Cabernet, Cabernet, Cabernet. And then this one is number 52, and it's called Velvet. So all of them are in the darker tones, and I think my niece would like them. So, I think we have made it to the end of the video. I hope you found some games for your family that you can build memories Thanks with. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.